Hi, my name is Hans Erickson, and today I want to discuss uh, producing a material for a complex object using Udeem texturing. Now, Blender has just finally come up with Udeem texturing. This is an industry standard, and the benefits of it is just astounding. Uh, in my estimation, Blender is finally putting on its big boy pants. Uh, first of all, let's kind of discuss exactly what Udeem texturing is. I'm going to open up a website uh, into Udeem uh, workflow from uh, the Foundry. And pretty basically, this right here is kind of what we're common to see in Blender. It is that zero to one space where we, when we're doing UV layouts, uh, we try to pack everything into this one particular space. However, with Udeem texturing, we can expand that. And I'll explain the benefits here in a little bit. But basically, these are areas outside of that Udeem space, or outside of that 0 to 1 texturing space. And the rules for Udeem texturing is you can go 10 across, but infinitely tall. Let's take a look at uh, an object that was created uh, using Udeem texturing, and maybe this will become a little bit clearer. Uh, in Substance Academy, uh, at uh, layer instancing for uh, v VFX scenes, this particular render here was produced with one material, and it's a very large asset. And the way that they did that is they utilize Udeem texturing. This is the 0 to 1 space. And what they did is they broke up the sidewalk using uh, different sizes of textures into these different texturing spaces. They did the restaurant here, the glass here, the tables and chairs, the menus, the street poles the window shutters, everything was broken up into these different UV areas. And now that may sound a little confusing, but let's take a look at this using this object here. This object here is actually uh, a model that I created some time ago. And uh, I did it in Blender, and actually each one of these areas uh, like this area right here, this uh, kind of the hearth of the uh, fireplace was one object. Uh, these little pedestals coming up to support uh, the mantle was another object. The mantle was another object. This uh, stone partition up here uh, flu covering was another object and basically everything was different objects. However, what I did is I combined everything and made it all one object. Now if we go to my UV layout, I've laid it all out into this zero to one space, which is common to Blender. If I highlight this entire area, uh, you'll see that everything is laid out within it and it, continue, it holds all of the objects within it. However, if I look at the texel density of it, and let's say I used a uh, 2048 uh, texture size, and I calculate the uh, texel density, you'll see that my texel density is really quite low. 3.371 uh, pixels per centimeter. And that is really low. That is what you'd want if this object was viewed from a long distance away. And even if I raised it up to a 4096, you'll see that I'm still only sitting at uh, 6.73 pixels per centimeter. 
in order to get a decent resolution, I would have to go all the way up to, uh, let's see, that would be a 8192, 8192, I'd have to do a uh, quite a large texture in order to even get up to 13. Uh, pretty basically what I'd want to do for a medium shot where this is kind of in a medium area, I'd want it to be between 7 and maybe 10. If this was an extreme close-up, I'd want it to be at least 12 to 15 and maybe even 20 uh, pixels per uh, uh, centimeter. So in order for me to get a decent resolution for a uh, medium shot, I would have to be really, really out there. So what I really want to do is I want to break this up into different UV spaces. But right now, I only have this 0 to 1 space. Well, I can solve this by creating a material. And let me go over to shading right now. And I'm going to create a material. And then I'm going to use the Node Wrangler. Oops, it is control T, there we go, in order to produce this and I am going to uh, create a new texture and I'm going to make it just at the very start a 2048 by a 2048. Uh, I'm going to, I like to use TIFFs, so I'm going to go ahead and make it a 32-bit float, and I'm going to make it tiled. So I'm going to go ahead and produce that. Now when I've done that, if I go back over to UV editing, I now have the ability to add UD tiles. So, let's go ahead and kind of give this a shot here real quick. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this area right here. And I'm going to, hold on here. Ah, okay. I'm going to select this one area here and I'm going to hit A twice here and you can see that I've now got this UV space. So, or I got, I've made a UV selection based on this object here. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to add a new UV space. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 2048 by 2048. I'm going to fill that. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go G and X. And then G. OK, now I've moved this over to another UDEM space. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and add another texture slot. And I'm going to go ahead and hit L. And G, or A. And here's my next item here. And I'm going to go G. And I'm going to move this over to this space over here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select all these which used to be objects and put them all into these different UDM texturing spaces here. Now I've already kind of done that, so I'm going to go ahead and open up this here, and I'm going to click Don't Save, 
there we go and if I hit A over here you can see that I've separated all this out into different texture spaces so now if I come in here and I select this right here which happens to be this billows right here um, I'm gonna go ahead and calculate the UDEM I'm going to go ahead and uh, calculate the uh, pixel density and incidentally you can get this uh, add-on here if you go to uh, the blender market uh, it's ten dollars and it is extremely well worth getting it makes getting your texture resolutions your texel density resolutions consistent 100 percent through your entire model here so let me go ahead and uh, close this down i'm going to calculate the using a texture size of 1024 i'm going to calculate the text pixel density and you can see that i'm sitting at 8.651 and quite frankly I'm going to be satisfied with getting eight uh, pixels per uh, centimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to eight. And I'm going to set my texture density. So now I know that a texture size of 1024 will be just sufficient to get a texel density of 8, which is good for a medium shot. Now if I select, whoops, let me go ahead and hit L and L, there we go. Now if I uh, select this one and I calculate my texel density, you're going to see that I'm sitting at 3.969. So I know that in order to get a decent resolution, I'm going to have to go up to a 2048. So now I'm sitting at uh, 6.937, but again, I would like to be at 8. So I'm going to set my texel density to 8. And you can see that I'm still within my bounds and everything looks good. So let me go over to this item here. I'm going to hit L, and I'm sitting at 2048. So if I'm going to select this, again, you can see that I'm really high. So let me go ahead and I'm going to set my texel density to 8, and it's going to resize that automatically. So these two are going to be 2048, and this one is going to be 1024. If I come over to this item here, or this object here, which used to be an object, I can calculate my texel density and you can see that I'm sitting at uh, 596 so I know that 2048 isn't going to quite do it so let me jump up to a 4096 I'm going to calculate that texel density and I'm really up there so let me set the texel density to 8 and you can see that, well, that's a lot of wasted space. So what do you say, why don't we combine these two over here? So let me come back over to this one. Let me go L. And I'm going to leave it at 4096. I'm going to set it to 8. And now if I go G and Y, I can raise this way up over here. I can come over here, I can hit L, and I can go G, and I can move this over to here. So now I know that if I calculate the TD with a Texel uh, with a 4096 resolution, I'm going to pretty basically fill my space up fairly well, and I'm going to have a decent resolution. Right now, my resolutions for all three of these objects are 
perfect. They are exactly alike. If I select this area over here, I'm going to jump back to a, uh, let's say, 2048. I'm going to calculate this texel density. You can see that I'm sitting at uh, 7611. Uh, let's see what would happen if I go ahead and set my texel density to 8. And you can see that I'm just barely getting out of the bounds. And I already know where this area is. It's this flu back over in the back. So I can actually kind of S and shrink that down just a little bit to get it within inside the bounds. And I'm going to move this over to G and X to this other texture space here. If I calculate my TD on it now, uh, you can see I'm sitting at 7.8, uh, which is acceptable because this area here is actually, let me, is kind of like this area and all this stuff back over here, and it's not really going to be highly visible unless I get right down on it. So that's going to be just perfect. Okay, my next area here, whoops is this object right here, or this area, is all of this business right in here. It's this kind of like basket that you put the logs in. So I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going to calculate my TD. And you can see that, um, well, I'm kind of up there. Let's go ahead and change this to a 4096. If I calculate my TD right now, you can see I'm sitting at 12, uh, but I'm going to set it to 8 at a 4096 resolution. And you can see that shrinks it down quite a bit. So actually, I think, let me take a look at this next spot over here. If I calculate my TD at a 49, that's quite high as well. So I'm going to set my texel density to 8. And quite frankly, I should be able to combine both of these at a 4096 resolution. So I'm going to grab this here. I'm going to go G and, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to set this way over here. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab both of these. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and for a 4096, make sure I'm sitting at 8. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to UV and I'm going to say uh, pack the islands and you can see it moved everything over to here and I'm going to make sure that my pack is set where I've got uh, 0 0.01 space between everything and I'm going to hit G and X and I'm going to move everything over to this area here and then I'm going to let me see make sure I'm within the bounds G and X, holding my shift key, move it to where I'm within the bounds, and then I'm going to set my texel density to 8. There we go. So I know that this texture slot here is going to be a have a is going to be a 4096 texture with a texel density of 8. Okay, moving on, I'm going to grab this business right here. Whoops, I got too much. Grab this. Now, this business right here is just this little grill right up here. So at a 4096, if I calculate the TD, 
you see that I'm way the heck up there. So let's go ahead and drop this down to a 1024 and I'm going to set textile density to 8 and I think that's going to work. So let me move it G and X over to here. Okay, next area is this right here, and at a 1024, let me go ahead and calculate the TD, and I know I'm going to need a 2048, so let's go 2048. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm going to set the TD. And I've got quite a bit of space there, so let me go ahead and go G. And X. I'm going to move this over to this area here. And if I come in here, these are my logs. And at a 2048, if I calculate the TD, you can see that I'm really quite high. So let me go ahead and uh, set my TD to 8. And that's really wasting a lot of space. Uh, and this one over here was also at a 2048, I believe. I wonder if I can get these combined. Let's give that a shot. Let's go ahead and grab this here and I'm going to add a 2048. Um, let's go ahead and pack that And let's go G and X. Oops. G and X. Um, if I calculate the TD at a 2048, um, a little under, let me go ahead and set it to 8 for 2048. And you can see I'm just outside the bounds here. But if I raise this up, let me go G and Y, raise this up just a skosh. There we go. And uh, let's go G and X, kind of Rub that over a little bit. And I'm way out of the space here. But if I grab this piece here, L, and actually let me grab this piece here. Let me go G, or let me go L, G. Let's raise this up. Let's uh, rotate this 90 degrees. Let's go G and just kind of bring this in here. Okay, that works. So what I've done here now is everything is sitting at a textile density of 8, which is fine for a medium shot, you know, where you're not right up against it. And in my scenes, this never really was a real tight shot. I've uh, reduced everything to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different UDEM spaces. And I can come over here to here and I can dump these three spaces here. Perfect. 
So I remember now that uh, this particular space here would be a 2048, or excuse me, a 1024. This one over here would be a 2048. This one over here would be a 4096. This one here is a, let me see, uh, 4 is a 2048. Uh, space number 5 is, uh, is a 4096. And this one here is a 1024. And this one over here is a 2048. So, with that all in place, all I have to do is go File, Export. Well, first of all, let me File. I'm going to export this all out as a 4096. And I'm going to save this out as a stone fireplace. 000.fbx and actually I'm going to save it out just as this right here stone fireplace dot fbx uh, before I do that no I'm good okay stone fireplace export fbx fireplace fbx and export uh, one more time, export, FBX. Actually, all I want to make sure is I've pumped out my mesh, and it's only my selected objects, and select that, export FBX. All right, I'm good to go. Next thing I need to do is open it up into a texturing program. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use... Uh, Substance Painter, and if I open up uh, Substance Painter, and wouldn't you know, I'm downloading something, a uh, new version, so I am going to go ahead and pause this for right now, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it appeared that my Substance Launcher just gave me a new version of uh, Substance Painter, and I'm done with that. Uh, but before I continue, let me uh, just say I've talked a lot about texel density. If you don't really know what it is and why it's important, you can go to my YouTube channel, uh, Hans Erickson, and you can see uh, right here, Determining Correct Texel Density. It's a uh, little bit longish, but uh, not too bad. Uh, uh, 26 minutes and it goes through uh, texel density and how to get the uh, plug-in for uh, Blender for it. So let me go ahead and start up Substance Painter. Uh, you can use any authoring uh, software that you want, but I kind of like using uh, Substance Painter, uh, and so that's what I'm going to kind of show here. So uh, let me bring the window over. Okay, starting up Substance Painter, I'm going to go File, and I'm going to go New, and I am going to choose... Yeah, that's the thing I'm going to use. I'm going to leave it at uh, 2048. However, um, I made sure that I checked create a texture set per Udeem tile. Uh, I'm going to go select, and there's my stone fireplace. I'm going to go ahead and open it, and I'm going to click Okay, now you notice that I'm leaving it at 2048. That means all of the spaces are going to be pre-calculated at 2048, but I can change those at will. So I'm going to hit OK. And you can see that it's brought my item in. And 
me go ahead and bring this texture down here and you see everything is broken up by these different texture spaces okay now all I have to do is come over here and you can see that uh, I'm sitting at uh, 2048 however I do know that this first texture space is actually just going to be a 1024 the second one here is going to be a 2048 the next one here is going to be at a 4096 uh, this one here is going to be a 2048 uh, this one over here is going to be a 4096 this one here is going to be a 1024 texture resolution size and this one over here is going to be a 2048 so I'm good to go on all my texture resolutions uh, I can now bake my textures I'm gonna bake my mesh maps I'm gonna deselect my ID and I'm gonna go ahead and use my low poly mesh for a high poly mesh because uh, I really didn't uh, bake a lot of these I'm gonna set um, well before I do that I'm gonna have to bake these kind of independent of each other so uh, let me go ahead and start this one's a 1024 so I'm gonna bake these at 1024 whoops I'm gonna deselect my ID and I'm gonna bake those mesh maps okay that's done my next one is a 2048 I believe yeah it's a 2048 so I'm gonna bake these mesh maps at a whoops yeah at a 2048 and I'm gonna bake those mesh maps I'm gonna go through and do all of these bakes and I'll be right back with you when I'm done okay and welcome back uh, you can see that I baked all my textures I've set all my resolution sizes uh, according to what the texture size needed to be in order to get my uh, correct textile density um, and I went ahead and textured everything I didn't want to make this about how to texture in substance painter what I wanted to do was uh, go ahead and create some textures for this Udeem tiling because I want it to be all about how to use Udeem in Blender. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I am going to export these textures and it's going to go to uh, exactly where my stone fireplace textures should be. Uh, I've got my format all set up exactly the way that it's supposed to be going out and all of the resolutions have been set so I'm just gonna go ahead and export these it'll take just a second uh, this is normally a little quicker but I'm recording in the background so it takes just a second longer okay all done and I can quit my deal here so now I'm back in blender and I'm ready to go ahead and do my shading so if I go over to shading you'll see that I have this uh, old texture uh, set up here and I'm going to go ahead and delete these here and sorry about that and I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up a texture slot here so I believe it's control shift T and I'm going to go to textures and what I want to do is I want to select everything that is 1001 and principal textured setup 
Now, the first thing you're going to see is everything just looks absolutely horrible. And that's because when I set this up, we lost our Udeem. So if I go back over to UV editing, uh, you'll see that I'm now on single image, which is not what I wanted. So let's go ahead and go back to tile. And I'm going to have to set up my Udeem textures. Or my Udeem texture slots, I should say. Now this may be fixed in a later version, but right now uh, this is the way that it's all working. And if I go back to layout here, And I think what I had to do before was I had to go back to shading and pick this very first texture here. And let me zoom in here and just reselect that color. And did that take care of it? Ah, it went back to single image. So let me go to tiled. Now I believe that it should work. Let me add. Yeah, see, it's starting to come in now. Let me add the next one. And the next one. And the next one. The next one. And I'm going to go ahead and save this file. And if I flip over here to Ah, you can see everything finally is coming in correctly little washed out at the moment. Uh, I'm not doing a full render view. Let me go ahead and uh, set up a... Let me go... Environment Texture and I have some environments here. Uh, let's go ahead and choose this one. It's nice and bright. Okay. Um, let's go over to layout. <coughs> and I think one thing that would improve it, because that looks pretty bad, is I probably just need to add a little bit of subdivision surface. And, uh, yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, so the beauty of this is, is I have completely textured this thing with one material. Now, I haven't saved on textures, but it's one material for one entire object with using different texture slots in Udeem texturing. So I want to thank you for taking a look. Uh, remember this right now is still in the alpha stage. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of improvements to the Udeem texturing as the bugs are being sorted out. You could see I had a little buggy end there, but uh, I'm really happy with the way things are turning out here. Let me go ahead and save this file, save as, and I'll put it up as the final. And uh, you all have a great day. Thank you.